one. Bit of utility for Apex there, and it. Now the gates we are. Dota has the kit, the double flash. Pretty standard CT buy here, but they're gambling three players over towards A. Two up long, one over towards bathrooms, and Snappy taking a couple of jewels early. One X bet odds favoring the Frenchman here, but the fight's not as Deha. Well, he gets the first, but that's about it. He's been able to draw things back to a three-on-three three and continues to fight off those flashes, but he falls. They know that there has to be another not too far away, and that man is Doto. Now in the crosshairs of Zaiwu, digs him on up through the tree. Doto, so, so he is still standing, like, very brave. No armor as well. He's the kit, and he's been hunted. Lovely play, Zaiwu. Did not back down from that engagement whatsoever. Hades now in the one versus three. He is just going to float between the two options. Well, he's had a couple of clutch attempts so far, hasn't he? On Mirage, he was just a little bit shy. Let's see if he can pull this one off. So back down through connector, they rummage. Hades is going to be hearing this with the sound cues. He's in the right place, Alex. He certainly is, but tucked in on graffiti. They're going to walk in, unguarded. He hears one drop. Oh, and the jump from Zai with just the tip of his head. It's such a nuisance to try and actually find some lethality here. 20 seconds, Apex to plant. And he's bodyguarded by the crossfire here. of shot to Zai Wu, repositions, can't quite get the crosshair there. But regardless, that will be vitality. Taking the pistol, nice early spread and just finding those... That, I think with the two opening frags really did just get slowly converted. Yeah, especially like, so Ents get the first, but then as soon as the immediate response comes out, things get difficult. But to be fair, Ents have forced bot what feels like almost every single round in map number one. So it's no yeah. surprise we're going to be seeing it again. So they're getting pretty handy at these forced by scenarios. <laughs> Part of me still doubts Apex's T-side scout. He does like... He loves it. He loves it. He's a fiend for the scout. He must have some incredible... Incredible rounds with it on uh, practice. I just think the way that like he can zip around so quick with it. Yeah, gets info. Definitely uh, not going to be a slouch on it. You can see he's tagged up Hades there. It's just weird, right, to see like Apex rocking the scout yeah. when you have like Zaiwu. Uh, but maybe if he feels he's able to pip a couple gaps, it might even keep him a little bit more passive on the anti ecos. You know, there could be a couple. Imagine of different if it's reasons a coaching it. decision. Yeah. Just so surely. Apex, uh, we want you to hold back a bit, mate. Uh, can you use the scout? Yes, boss. All right, well, they know Hades scouts in play, so you need to be a little bit more careful when taking some of these corners. Three players. It's a pretty solid setup. Like, the Eagles are very scary. Two body shots as you turn this corner. Ooh, and there he goes. The body shots immediately. Best them both. Weapons to be retrieved there, and Vitality, a little bit of a panic now. You're going to have to regroup. You want to try and trade these as best you can. Looks like they are going to stand and fight. It was uh, snappy to get a little... Uh, Hungry for that. Still problems though, very big problems here. Half HP for Kyojin, just a Deagle Bullet and he'll go down and... Oh, they're continuing the issue over here towards A. Shocks. On his own towards bathrooms. Kyojin and Apex tasked with long. Takes down Hades, but Apex is low and the flank might be a problem here. Through the fade of the smoke, Shocks has given them the number advantage. How are they turning this around? Yeah, that's beautifully done. Apex actually just finishing off what he previously tagged. And Sphinx can destabilize here. First, and does. Here's a hard headshot oh, required. That was the kill. It was the chance. Doto can still have a go. A couple of pot oh. shots, though. Just short of the mark. So some real opportunities there from Ents. It's shocks that bails them out nicely. I think the frag on that lingering toilet, Deeg, did certainly confirm things. Yeah, that setup, not only was it good like in the front of bathrooms to deal with anybody, the reason they were able to get away with that was because Hades was over towards the lip of the site. You can see the Deagles here. You can see there's two players looking at that uh, doorway of the bathroom, one towards Long, and then Hades holding off towards the divider area, which meant if they were to peek on that scout, it would probably funnel them into the bathrooms as opposed to taking that long-range duel. But somehow, Vitality are able to mock this one up. So great stuff there for the French. And now they will be versing, well, the closest thing we get these days to a full eco. Just a couple of upgraded pistols here out of Ents. There he is. No scout this time around. Apex getting stuck in. Gets a kill onto Doto and gives the number advantage on a round that you'd really be wanting to keep clean here, Vitality. Molly there. No one will be burnt at barrels just yet, but the B bomb site with the bomb in the backyard still looking like it's on the docket.
feels so scary. Like the thing is, when when you see the, the couple bullets go right there, you're like, oh, okay, well, mm. you know, not. But the, the, it's it's the smallest of margins we're talking about between just ripping somebody's head off with one click of the mouse or not. But as simple says, aim higher. I feel we could probably all do that. <laughs> yeah, sure. I definitely saw, um, I think it was yesterday, there was someone with a great little graph of time to kill. Okay. Um, with Deagle being significantly higher than everything else at various ranges. Um, but if it was suggested, it was suggested and implied that if it was brought to three body shots, it would fall in line with the time to kill of every other weapon. Okay. But the argument that people were presenting in the comments was that it's the only thing that balances out the CTA comments. Like, okay. it's, it's their way to win the force buys. It's their way to stay relevant in the anti-ecos. Yeah, the, the problem is, like, the, the, the stomach kills, right? I think that's the one that everyone yeah. has problems with. I don't think anyone has any issues with this thing just being the hand cannon like to rip people's head off. Two to the center off. of mass is what I've said to people, because you can kill four people, or even less bullets, actually, if it's collateral. But tell, like, everyone at home, just tell me how frustrating it is to hit those two bullets in the chest and not get the kill, right? Oh, like, that is so two. frustrating. Yeah. That is, is one of the worst ways to go down. So, look, I get it, especially when you're ROPs and you sit close to low ramp on train and you kill three people coming down with six bullets and then you hit the other guy for 50 and your team just basically win the round off that. But you still have to be ROPs to do it, do, right? Do, do. So, look, I know, I know how it can seem. And if you take it to a Valve dev, you know what they'll say. Have you ever thought of a different way to take that area? But, uh, yeah, look, lots of questions. But this round did kind of take its time after the opening frags did come in. The Mac 10s doing work. Also, I will frame it in another way to think about it, which is how mad would you be if CSGO's Deagle sucked? Like, yeah, CS it's like an iconic it's weapon, It's such right? an iconic. It's right there with the AK. Yeah. Remember how upset we got when they changed the AK sounds? Yeah. Never mind the stats. So uh, keep that one in mind. It's like you, you think you want it, but you don't. Not to go, uh, different game dev there. Well, the Hail Mary nades didn't tickle anybody up, but they do give a bit of information to end that at least three players were hanging out towards the back of B. Now, Vitality have a lot of time on the clock, right? That was a maneuver they've done out the gates, and now they're searching over towards A. Clearing out long, looks like it's next. Kyojin here, run boost for Zywoo. He's going to open up the crosshair. There's nobody home to receive this. Quite the passive stance on this A site. Hades over towards bathroom. Sphinx in towards the site itself, the dice boxes. Snappy on rotation here. And Deha and Dota, the double Ds, to lock down the B site. Just gone sub one minute. And now it's starting to smell like a bit of an A finish. Bomb scooped up by Shocks. As they make their way over towards bathrooms. Hades has been posted up here the long time. Drops his smoke, holds his tight line. 30 seconds. Vitality will be hitting his sight. Snappy's rotated into support as well. Needs some frags out of Hades here. Sphinx and Snappy will have to do it now as he's caught out and just run over. That was with just a Mac 10. Zyru burns down to a crisp. And with 20 seconds left and two players to find, they don't have to really panic too much about the plant. It's uncontested. Deha and Dota on either ends of the extremities here. He's tucked into underpass. Shock's going hunting. Could result in a little bit of extra contact at the end of this one. But he's gone silently up the ladder, so no info for Shock's to work with there. Yeah, one thing that went unnoticed just there, because all the action, or at least the attack from Vitality, was starting to come in towards A, was the aggressive maneuver from Dodo to push into backyard. He's grabbed on with the silence then four, so... Bit of mystery around where he lies. Shock's starting to get a move on now to cut this one off. They'd love to take away another way one of these rifles. And he's got one on either side of him right now. I wonder if D is ready for that as well. If he's expecting short push. Oof. Handles one. Shock's are coming for more. How quick is he? He's oh, very, dear. very quick. Gets quite expensive for Vitality. Admittedly, that is the fourth now to zero, but losing three bodies they didn't need to. Well, nice to get that AWP, right? Also deny that from Hades going forward. I think considering, you know, where this guy's come from, which for most people is nowhere, like he's just appeared, he's just on all of our screens. He did a great job in map number one. So he will be denied the AWP going into round number five, but Ents with those saved guns, a couple of extra kills, will be able to get the buy going. M4 has dropped. I saw on our graphic for Hades that he has a he had a trial for Ago, uh, but didn't obviously get offered the position. And I wonder what Ents saw in him that Ago didn't. Conversation for another time, as we do see Ents in pursuit of their first defensive round. They've got all the weapons to do it. Best chance they've had in a while, considering the round run. Vitality are now on. Well, Snappy's about to be in a lot of trouble here. 
There's no real way out. Nobody's looking at balloons above him, so if he does want to scamper, he really needs to be worried about above him too. Diha coming to support, pushing in towards the sewer. So this is a lot of info right now for Ents to operate with again. They have an inkling that there's not too much pressure over towards this B bomb site right now. And hold up a second. Yeah, that's a lovely smoke. freebie, isn't it? And this crossfire, it's what we saw from the Deagles. This worked for Hades and Sphinx. And this time they're so blind. Kyoto nearly gets them both. Sphinx did put a bullet into his head, which should force the fight away. But it's that's the rotation as well. The double rotate. Yeah, very trigger happy on that one. Snappy stepping up to the mantle. Oh, he's he could so he's gonna lose his life he's here. So he wants info, but uh. he loses it all. The only okay. hope they have here is that Vitality take too long. Yeah, but that's the bomb that's spotted, right? So maybe Vitality want to retool and go somewhere else. They have enough utility. They can take the time and go for an execute, but it's allowed Ents to rotate back in. Dihar tucked in towards the pit, and here they come. I fancy their chances here, you know. If Doto could just finish off one early, the smoke is there. Hard heart shots to hit. He's been danced with. Great double from the Dihar. 2v3, Misuta oh. crawls straight into the crosshairs. Apex in a one versus three. He has quickly neutralized one and two more to find. Hey, and Deher on the hunt. They should be able to trade up. And don't even need to. Using that USP, staying dynamic, and we will see that first go the way of the CTs. Where did Zywe leave the AWP in all of that? Because Hades won't be able to pick it up right now. So uh, he must have left. Yeah, okay. So as he's come through Monster, I assume he's picked up the gun off of Shox's dead body who went down to Doto. So Hades did find the AWP in the end there. Just in or the nick did of he time. purchase it? No, yeah, no, he, he just grabbed it. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, as I was talking with me hands, I took my eyes off the screen. But so this was it. This was the smoke kill. Just, oh wow. Okay, just five bullets clean through. It did look good for Vitality. I think the pro this kill here, even though it looks really good, the issue is Masuda had the bomb. So Snappy's seen the bomb at 30 seconds. Yeah. And then they've just been able to hedge and gamble at that point. So here we go. Four man boost. Seeing if they can find the kill. Five man boost even. Requires five, takes four. Holding their nerve, Snappy, be careful with those jumps, bro. It's the safer of the two options, right? The other one we've seen already be naded from Vitality here, and he was jumping in a similar position, so avoiding not only that big old boost, but the nades as well. Regathering over towards Fountain. They'll have to clear a lot of real estate here. And sure, there's over a minute left on the clock. They have utility to work with, but there's a lot of unanswered questions. Shock's being able to get a little bit of territory over towards B. At least secures the idea that there's no crazy Ents pushes coming in again. But this oh, is the fight. I don't envy Spinks' position. He's holding a real slither gap. You can see the cross. Oh, can he? I guess not. Kyojin can. Just a tiny pixel of Sphinx, and he unloads his mag into it. Great control of the spray. It's Hades that's going to struggle to get away now. Smoke's perfect. Buys himself some time for the re-peak, and Hades delivering. Looking for three. Oh. Zywoo denies. Bomb is loose, and there's chaos. Absolute pandemonium. 30 seconds left as Shox is taking the B site. The bomb way behind him, though. Todd Deha. What a flash. Don't know if Shox spotted him out. If Deha could finish Shox off now... Things could get really awkward. Oh, Apex needs to get over there quick. Diha could do so much damage now, and there's only two on the site. He's Molotov, he knows he has to be close, and Diha does eliminate the threat. Zaiwu, bomb on his back, needs to isolate this duel oh. now. Diha's managed his angle so well, but time just in favor of Zaiwu. Bomb to go down, unless he could get the deny. He can't, but now a 1v1. Snappy Troop looking to pull oh, it across snappy. the line. Just as the smoke blooms, he holds his nerve and holds his spray. It will be two for Ents in a row. Two rounds in a row that almost feel like a bit of robbery from Ents, yeah. right? Two rounds where Vitality looks like they made the right calls, they made the right plays. That one got out of control for a second there, but as soon as Zywu takes down Diha, I think, yeah, they've done it, they've done enough, but Snappy, big clutch. Now that's going to put some questions into the Vitality camp right now as two on the trot this in the one, lost he, column. He, yeah, he sees a whole lot. I think the Sphinx may be just lost in his comms or looking away elsewhere. Didn't get to pull the trigger on that. Hades does an awful lot from his position. Zywu, of course, keeps it relatively competitive. But a 1v2 here from Snappy and love this from him. Just holding the nerve and holding that line. Now, here's the thing. We've just seen a timeout come on in. And it makes a lot of sense because the money there is hovering for Vitality to go for a buy. And there's that frustration. There's a desk slam from Apex. And they will go with the buy. And you can understand why here. Because only one player surviving from Ents there. If you're Vitality and you win this, you're just going to break the bank, right? It's easy as that.
Okay. Yeah. So there's three of them. All right. And that icon re oh, represents them recently, all three. That's right. So there's an invisibility cloak or something. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's an elder one. This is the ones in the play. There's another one. Is it the map? That's the one. There you go. Yeah. Well done. Mischief managed. You didn't want to go with Star Wars? You could watch nine movies. I could have. I mean, Lord of the Rings, I didn't do Hobbit. I just opted for the, the core three, oh, yeah. the trilogy. That's already like nine hours. Yeah. Could have really righted the clock. Ooh, quick turn. Hades, vision maintained as Tom forces them out of their bathrooms. And it is a bit of a different setup, so they're probably just relieved not to be having contact on this part of the toilets area. But it's, quite, it's clear with every one of these setups they do, right, what avenue they're leaving open for Snappy to have to rotate back into. So they're just paired up. They're either going to fortify towards, you know, long or towards this middle area. Hades can still be threatened. What a bloody brilliant molly. He actually can't really hold the same line. Kyojin trying to hold for the push. No aggression from the CTs here. And here comes Vitality. Oh, nice find so on the decals of nearly a second. Just the tip of the head visible. It will be snappy going down. And now Hades got a hunt for this low HP. No issue for shocks. Damn, 10 HP and another head dark does go down. Aggressive, very aggressive. The wall bank does soften up Apex. He nearly finished him through the wall. Hard done by Padiha. More damage inflicted. He's nearly killed Apex entirely through wall and smoke. But he has no idea of how much damage he's inflicted and how much they've been softened up for the potential 1v3. Yeah, he might have considered that if he knew just the HP of Shocks and Apex in this situation. But making some sound cues like he's run away. And now he's starting to have a little Come bit of a on. look back in. I'd have loved it. There's even a kit on site. Could have snuck on in. Masuta is going to be doing his uh, his job. With Hades in a lot of these fights, he's been doing some very good up close and personal orping, right? Combat orping. They're in his face and he's hitting some quick shots, so they're always the hardest to hit. Sphinx was so blind there as well. That was a really, really rough situation to find himself in. Bomb goes off. Fifth round on the board here for Vitality. And this half is now starting to get away from it. That death as well. You can see Sphinx. I mean, he spent his whole round in that corner, and by the time he actually gets tested, it's just a full white screen. So, no fun for him. Well played by Vitality. And they just get themselves straight back into the driving seat. You won't believe where it's done, Chad. Well, it's a force fight situation, of course, isn't it? Famous, MP9, Diha with that save, Dem4, a scout for Hades, and a Deagle oh. for Dodo. So, let's see what they can do with this. That could have played out so nicely as well with Dodo pushing his Diha, tagged up Apex, just wasn't quite accounting for someone so close. Oh, this is a lot of information for Sphinx here. So, they need to be on high alert towards B. They need to block this monster tunnel because they're coming through. They are coming. Where's the nade? They're ahead of it and no one's ready. I say that. Diha does well to post a single headshot. Nade for Doto to try and get away from the murder. But just way too much. It's Kyojin, Apex all combined. I'm still down right now. So, they need to get back there and pick that one up. Sphinx, is he going to beat Zywu to it? I think he's fine. Zywu gets to pick up that bomb and he'll scamper back towards the B bomb site. Masuts are dealing with this connector control, but if he looks the wrong way, Sphinx might be able to get the better of him just here. It's all going to come down to timing, and it looks like Masuda is starting to take a glance to his left, spots him at range. The MAC-10, not the best weapon for the job, but the kill is good. And that's the round done again. So it was a force, but I'm sure Snappy and Hades wish they had something better to save, but it might just be holding on to the Scout and the MP9. This should be six right now for the French as they continue to mount here on this T half. Remember, this was their map choice. Looking to close things up 2-0. And if you think you've seen enough Counter-Strike today, I reckon you should hang around. Astralis versus Spirit. And uh, I don't know if everybody caught the news, but you saw a little, little post come out earlier from uh, Zipex saying he's exploring his options. His contract's up towards the end of the year. That's interesting. We know that uh, Glaive re-signed just in that player break. We also know that Lucky's been added to the team. So we don't even know what constellation of players Astralis are going to be running with here within this tournament. It's going to be six men if they're going to be chopping and changing things up. It's all coming later today in the final time slot, which will be 8 p.m. Yeah, it was nice. The video Astralis released as well, you kind of got a good slight feel for the person that Lucky is mm. and the opportunity he feels like he's been given. Uh, so obviously that's a story that will continue to develop uh, as he does and as they do. We'll see them head to head as our final series of Group A tonight. I'm putting a lot of stock in Spirit coming out of the break. I've just, I was watching Magix and Dexter and Chopper, Mia, they all were just playing FPL constantly. I don't think Magix took a bloody day off. The guy was playing like 12 hours of Counter-Strike a day, it was wild. So I'm putting a lot of eggs in that Spirit basket. I, I hope that out of the break they 
are able to show some good form because they're very fun. skilled individuals. Didn't have fun in Cologne though, did they? No, it wasn't. It, it, the, the wins, you know, were against teams that they should have beaten. And the loss, I think, the, was it a loss against Vitality? I think we were talking about mm. it. was kind of close. So I'm sure they'd love to forget about that very quickly. Oh, Dota. They're ready for you. Shocks collect his eighth frag and Vitality just slowly encroaching on this B site. The suit is the one to be shepherding them away from the underpass tunnel. A little bit of fun for them in round nine. They'll get the frags they desired, and it looks like Hades will just hold on to his scout as best he can. Yeah, I don't know uh -oh. at this point. Do you even? Yeah, just uh -oh. just get away with your life at this point, mate. The Kevlar's the best thing he's holding on to here. He's not holding on to this. There's zero chance Hades saves anything. Yeah, it? it's crazy they're hunting him as well, right? Because who cares? Like, if he holds on to ramping out, yeah, that's fine, actually. You can have that. Carry that through. That's all good, dude, because they're going to go for a full buy now anyway. So Orp comes out. Couple of silent stem fours in the hands of Doto and Snappy purchased on in. There's a kit in play. Might be the only kit in play for Doto. It's crazy. Like, hence the Finnish team, you know, the one that everyone, the, the whole country's getting behind. Now there's just... One, well, actually, I tell a lie, there's two Finns. Saw the coach, yes. he's a Finn as well. But it's just a complete change. And I guess maybe the same might happen in Fnatic over there, right? We know that there's two Brits coming in, Alex and Mezzi. Color me hyped, by the way. Keith we see them is on the 27th of August up against Na'Vi. Yeah, all right. That's one way to start the tournament. <laughs> hey, guys, first game, first official. Uh, it's only the Simple champions in. of the last LAN. Amazing form. Here you go. Have fun. Oh, that could be fun. <laughs> they got all the bells and whistles this time, Chadney. Yep. Well, is he jumping for the... Oh. oh. Come on. Oh. Go again. Don't you dare. Do it. He wouldn't. Ah. So that's a pretty nerdy way to check for the five stack if you're interested. And that is Deha onto Shocks, catching the aggression. He is the only one that doesn't participate in the uh, the four man boost. He's the one that just acts as a stepping stool. So he goes pushing short typically on that. So nice shutdown from Deha. And the rest of the map control is going to be significantly lost. This is going to hamper Vitality's default spread. And it's probably going to be quite a late finish from them here in round 10. It feels like it has to be a B at this point, right? You saw once they identified the boost, they went a little bit more aggressive on long. They're actually pushing Snappy through Connector right here. So cutting the map in half. This is a big one for Dota. A. He needs this frag and confirms it. Now Vitality's chances truly will start to fade. Three versus five. Snappy's behind Zywoo at least here, but he might lose him. They were going to walk I think they're going to use Zywoo as a bit of a fake, yeah. Dota has no idea. Oh, if he tucks in on sandbags just in the nick of time. Should be able to play Denial here. Zaiwu does show his face towards the other side of the map. Cleared. Suta oh. clears him. And now suddenly what was three versus five becomes a two versus three. There's a world where Kyojin and Masuta can fully convert this. And pulling up their socks. There is Util available. This is a power position. Masuta can win the round from here. Can not this time. Hades denies and all on to Kyojin. Three to find. He's opted for the ramp. It's going to be very hard to isolate multiple jewels. And already onto one. D is there. Oh, oh my God. They were both the damage. there. Snappy and Hades both caught some flack from the AK. Oh, I think Masuda continued to push forward there because they were expecting more to come in on the flank, yeah. right? Because of how much map territory they didn't have. If Masuda just parked the bus, you know, that could have been it. Now, look, he's obviously not to know. But that was great for them to at least get into the site, considering how that one started. Really good stuff from Ents there to get their third. But they need to chip away at this T side bank balance because there's enough for a buy going to the next and maybe even one more for Vitality, even if they are to lose a couple on the trot here. Yeah, quite an impressive overcoming of the, what was essentially, uh, 2v5. Suta, Yojin combining for a bomb plant and a couple of extra kills as well. This, the lineup, they really did get low. Snappy was the one to finish the job. Hades had an AWP, so if he missed his shot, could very well have been 
a lovely 1v3 to finish things off. Aggression from Doto, full blind, not going to lose his life. It's Shox and Doto in this constant battle for short control. And it is Shox's domain, typically. This time, Doto plans to stand actively pursuing that part of the map. Good time for Hades to actually dip on back here. Meanwhile, Doto has taken down Shox again, so winning out that fight once more. 4v5 disadvantage for the French here as they press onwards. Now the bomb is left very, very deep and Masuda will be able to get this connected control. We can see there's nobody on the other side of things, but how far do they push up on A before they send somebody back to pick up the C4? They will need that. Who got the short straw? It's Masuda. All right, well, back he goes, and luckily Dodo hasn't continued to push, right? He got the kill onto Shox, and he's dipped on out of dodge. Shox has had a real rough go of it. Dodo spammed him through the smoke. He's killed him in a couple True. of rounds, hasn't he? True, Dodo versus Shox. There was definitely a bit of a rivalry brewing. Shox more frustrated than the Finn. And there's a three-man defense here, so they are ready to receive in the off angle. Lies Sphinx, good work, good dink. Masuta brought down to nine, and that's the bomb carrier. If they can put that bomb loose now in toilets, which there they is. can and do, Snappy has locked this one down. 24 seconds, he doesn't need to overextend, but he swings out for more. Apex, his next victim, and ends a fourth round. You said they had to whittle away at the economy. Well, finding Zywu on the save would certainly not be a bad way to start that Especially off. Especially if they kill him after time here. Dotos. Dodo, he might actually be able to do so, you know. Mm. Five seconds left. Zywu, you need to tuck in. You need to keep this AWP, and you need to make sure you don't lose the lost bonus. Oh, dear. It's after time. That is horrible. It was after time, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. 2,400, dude. 2,400. Oh, yikes. Okay. Well, that's a great way for Ents to get themselves back into this half. Zawu's going to need to drop right now. Someone's going to either have to give him an AWP or an AK-47. I think it's probably going to be the latter. I think almost all of Dodo's kills have been on shocks. Yeah. Like, besides that last one there on Zawu, but it feels like he's been pumping him. I think there's two keys for me right now. Dodo getting that kill. And Snappy has been a bit of a nuisance. You can see he's been more active now within these like mid rounds when Vitalia trying to establish his push through connector in a couple of rounds. There he's been jarring, pushing up through A when he knows that they're advancing. You'll never guess what Shox is up to. This time Doto not going to be willing to push the issue, but he is hanging out on barrels. We could be seeing another head to head of these two. R absolute arch enemies of one another. Just having this part of the map as well is important, right? Because Vitality, if they know that you're not hunkering down towards B at all, then there's never any threat, right? And that means Snappy gets to float around for free. So Dodo transitioning across towards Monster, but looks very aware right now. And Adiha, Spinks, and Snappy setting something up. There's all A three boost of them off kind the of flash, yeah, maybe? they're kind of hanging out. They're definitely setting something up. Mm. We'll fumble that one. You don't want to step up after those sound keys have been made. And Shox is just perched at Sandbag, looking for a head. And I think they're happy to wait. And that oh. was the um, really quick reactions on the trigger there. Shocks remiss. Yojin aggressive, does catch that Doto push. Keeps Monster under control. And now they can go anywhere they want. It does seem like they're starting to target their affection towards A. Apex has already maintained a lot of long control. And if he could just tuck in far right, that would be the full commit. But Hades on the wider check. Oh. Yeah, nothing to report just yet. And now Apex is going to be really tucked in on that deep left side. 20 seconds though, time's a big problem here. Apex really wants to be the first contact and he's made it clear he's coming from there. That on Optimus, they need to be able to stop that bomb getting across and it's not going to be easy. Masuta makes that clear, good shot, but not enough. Eight seconds as the bomb goes in, he the can flag. stop it. He can stop the plan, he needs to and hasn't. That would have been round winning from Snappy. Perhaps he can still close it out, two required. Apex on site, Masuta may be spotted out in the fading smoke, and that's the end of that. And they'll make it eight. Solid recovery. It's Masuta with four. And that was a chance from Snappy. It's long range. Eyes so close to the screen at that point, but one click could have secured a fifth. He definitely had a chance, right? He definitely had a shot right there, but not to be. And now, well, Vitality, they've taken the half. Eight rounds to their name. Four for Ents. The best that they can post will be seven. And they're by going into round number 13, not looking fantastic at all. Spinks just with a deagle, bit of util behind it. There is a kit for DR. Hades onto that AWP, but he'll need to find some impact. So jumping on up, he's over towards Party. Scoped on in. He'll look over the smoke, but Molly's out of position, has to dip back, and he is under the pump right now. Just from utility there, Hades knows he can't hang around. 
any repeat could be deadly. And well, Vitality just working on this map control. So through connector they go. Zaiwu for Fountain and Shox and Kyojin dealing with any B presence. And Dota has been such a nuisance on these pushes. Spinks has found success in that close toilet angle before with his Desert Eagle. He's been quite quiet otherwise. A bit worried for Apex here. Yeah, and for good reason. You could just see he had a bit too much pep in his step right there, expecting a lot of respect in that area. And oh, now they're going to head into the B Blender. Very blended. You can see they do find some frags, but Zywu down to 27. He's going to struggle to yeah, get the bomb across. It's finished off nicely by Snappy. And with 40 seconds left, Shock straps himself in. They may not be anticipating this. He hears the scoping. Snappy should be responsible for this, but this could be a double. This could be the 1v3. He's not, He's not, not even thinking about it. Now he does. Shox pays half of his health for the first, and he knows the AWP was last spotted there. Oh no! Sphinx, little shy of the mark there, gave Shox a chance to adjust his crosshair, but it will be 5 4 Ents. And if they can close out this half 8 7 after everything that's kind of went down at the start of this. Vitality off to a flying 4-0 start. It was, I think it was even worse than that. It was like 6-2 to two or something at one point. This would be a great recovery to an 8-7. I, I just could see what was going to happen as soon as Apex started heading back up the stairs because Masuda had already limped out, right? He'd already crept on the precipice of what Sphinx was holding. So Apex is assuming that that is clear, but they haven't communicated exactly what has been covered on off there. And I, it just it felt like that was going to happen here at all. Oh, okay, that's a double little goosh. And Shocks, well, he's dead. Snappy profits a bit more. And Snappy's impact in some of these rounds really being felt now as Six is looking great. Spinks mopping up. Nade's doing damage too. And they'd really have to fumble this one. Ents. There's only two remain. Kyojin, well, make it just Masuta. Kyojin's dead. Clean. It's a great round. Good stuff from Ents here, really breathing a bit of life into this first half. Nothing, like, I, I couldn't put my finger on something that has specifically worked for Vitality, though. They've been made to, you know, struggle for a couple of these rounds right here, so I couldn't just say, all right, yeah, run that round again. There's nothing that really sticks out like a sore thumb that they can just opt for. Yeah, really good kind of uh, late resurgence out of Ents here on the CT side. 7 to 2, Vitality posting just 1 in the following rounds of play. Let's see if they can make it 2. It's uh, final round of the first half, map 2 here. It's another new look. Like the West Sphinx is right now pushed all the way up long. This is going to cause some massive issues and actually gives a lot of information. Apex, are you going to clear your corners, my friend? I think he's kind of focused on play on B and that just leads to a free frag for Snappy. And the door's blown off. He can control short from there should he desire. He's opted for the long road to rotate back. This is going to be quite a quick pop onto B. Hades will have a chance. And tags oh. up Kyojin. Sorry, that feels like it's been robbed there. Tagged up, but Shox is fragged up. Snappy, Hades falls as well. Vitality are making this one hurt. Just individuals fragging out. Dancing around the smoke is Doto. It's Zywu that's playing with him though, and will secure it. Surely the round as well. Spinks, late arrival, coming in from behind. He's likely to be checking, he needs to hit this first frag now, has done so, it's shocked to lock it down, nine.
which is a really good sign here. As from we, ends, yeah. yeah so it means we might have a, a competitive map on our hands right here, but things might get more, uh, let's say, easy for the French now they're on the CT side. Real opportunity for Zywoo to activate that AWP and be a nuisance, but that is quiet down the ladder late. And the 1x bet odds at the top of your screen favoring the French in heavy, heavy odds. So they're going for the underpass push, but oh, spotted out one. Look at the angle from Shox. Yeah, this is what I want to talk about. No one is expecting this, and he's hitting them all. Go! No, just the first. Knocks the bomb carrier down and struggles to finish his meal. It will be Spinks charging ahead with Deha, and there's a chance. This is a big duel. Big, big duel for Deha. Too many targets on his plate. He struggled to put anything down range. Bomb now lost, as is the round. Falls apart, but shocks. He was the only man on this side of the map. But what an angle and what a start into the proceedings of this pistol. That was a very, very interesting pistol. I, I think there was a heaven smoke that was thrown as well as that short smoke. But it, the short smoke was more, I guess, to sell a bit of a fake here as we see Hades attempt to take a couple of heads. Not to be the case. Zywoo will, will chop his off. And, well, you know what's going to happen now, don't you, Alex? It's going to be that Ents force by. They love a good force by. <laughs> Yeah, that was strange, uh, because on the B side, I don't know if you guys noticed that, but they dropped a smoke that landed in front of sandbags towards short B, and I think there was a heaven smoke as well. So I guess the push through underpass was hopefully catching rotators off guard, but I think they peaked out monster and they had a lot of early info. So yeah, curious one there. It's creative at least from Ensign. I love to see new ideas coming into play all the time. This is loud. Shock's got the perfect weapon for this fight. Oh. Snappy, very, very quick. First bullet out of the Tech 9 there. Okay, so a man advantage to work with. You take those in the second round. One of the more competitive and chaotic rounds we have in Counter Strike these days. So now I said I got to play a, pug, a couple of pugs with Katie, and I, I played a couple with Snappy as well, and he really does enjoy the Tech 9. He's got to be one of the only people in the entire world who are loving the Dug Dug. Best friends of the Dak Dak. I don't fancy Zywoo's chances of just a scout, though. We need some very precise headshots. The smoke start to rain in and remove his vision, as do the flashbangs. He does peek out for a freebie. Diha's head is in the vice, and he's already tagging up another. Zywoo's made a lot of impact. He's still alive. I can't believe he's not dead. He's catching them on the reload. They will peek out. It's Apex's Famas that fills the feed for two. Flanking both of them. Yeah, Masuta's there, as is Kyojin. And now they've not got to rush this plan. But as he takes a look, he gets way more than he bargained for. Hades tagged up. Oh, and pushed on. Kyojin denies vitality with the dunk to finish. Oh, 11. And it felt like Ents is right until it wasn't. It's crazy. If that little bit of information was gathered that both were flanking before he gets to Optimus, he could have dropped in towards drop down, dropped over towards the B bomb site, yeah. and got a plan down for absolute free. But this is the uh, Tech 9. Bosh. Easy as you like from Snappy there, but Zywu does more than enough. The fact he gets the first, he stays alive, and he gets an assist on another player here. Just a real nuisance, giving Apex the ability to chop down two. And well, just so upgraded deagles here, four of which, Deha staying with that Glock, and Zywu doesn't want to hang around for too much more. Warning shot of the scout is out. Just Dota over towards B, no surprise there. Shox is going to be isolated in connector here. They're going to be at party above him any moment. Oh, Shox. In trouble again. This time he grabs one. Zywoo with the scout connect. Snappy dead. Shouldn't be too many dramas now. I think with that damage done early, Vitality should be able to clean this one up. It always looks so quick, doesn't it, when you, when you catch from the guy who dies, POV? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's also just when it's the headshot, you just see that instant sound effect. You really do feel the velocity of the drive-by. And Sphinx is the last on the list. 12 to Vitality. And they'll keep all those bonus goodies, I reckon. We'll get to see... Perhaps a little bit of an avant-garde strategy for the MP9, the Scout. Sorry, we will be able to play a pretty standard game in this round anyway, but this is how Shox uh, started things off. Yeah, getting pressured by three players and taking one with you always does feel good. Yeah, it looks very pedestrian when you see it from uh, Kyojin's POV just there. But they don't really have any crazy spawns to, to use the SMG, the Famous, in uh, 
too much of a different manner. As you mentioned, Zywu could just play like a normal round. Get some tags, fall on back. Hades, without the AWP, has actually opted for the Krieg here. So keep your eyes on the SG. Dodo's wormed his way in towards Sewer there. He's going to hunker down. Give any communication on the jumps. Any aggressive maneuvers coming on through as the rest of his teammates are working on this A progression. Front bathroom smoke comes out. Shox is kind of committed to this now. With Diha throwing out long util, Shox is going to surely, yeah, you can see, wiggle of crosshair. He's going to either have to pick his poison, he'll confirm the shadow position. Stead Snappy still wins the duel, and now Vitality have to overcome a man disadvantage. That was one of their more promising rifles as well. They might want to gamble stack with their remaining resources. There he goes with the scout. Oh my god, I looked, I looked, I looked at the minimap for one second. Now 4v4, and they do stack up and push up. They want to try and punish and so at least get the info so they can have some bodies in the right place. They might be a little late here. I think Apex is calling. He says there's nothing here. Get your booties to be. They should get there. This in is time. a very fast flank from Apex, you know. If he swings open this door, he could have two. Famas, chance and found. Great shutdown. Zywu more from the scout as well. He's still looking at the door. He has no idea Apex is evacuated. He's flanked Monster Tunnel. And with 15 <laughs> seconds left, Oto's looking in the wrong place. Apex long gone. Borrowed away to a new location and the oh, round falls no. apart like that. What a horrible way to lose it. Dodo's been here the whole round. The guy's just been sitting in sewer this entire round and now he's going to have to try and save this gun. And I think he's at least going to get away with it here. There. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. Watch Sai Wu have a look. Okay. Alrighty. Well, they let him live. <sighs> yeah, that was crazy that they had enough time to head everybody over towards the A site. Apex push all that way like a madman, gets the info. Similar to what Snappy was doing in the first half on the CT side, right? Taking a couple of these very risky info pushes. And then Apex, the voice of authority on the team, can basically confirm it's all over Red Rover. Like, the pre-aim could not have been any better. He's pre-aiming the crouched head. Like, he didn't even have to adjust his crosshair. And now he has an AWP, so let's see how much more pain could be inflicted here. Round number 20, a buy again from Entz. A bit quicker this time. Over towards Long, very fast from Deha. Shocks again. Let's see if he gets caught off guard one more time because you can see with his reactions, it feels like he's not ready for those fights. This is an interesting setup. Oh, you take those every day of the week. Apex was about to try and make his flash play. He's counted by their own, and now it's Masuta willing to take the duel. As a B defender, I want to keep those numbers level. So I was going hunting on long side, so Diha just oh. timed himself out of there. Squeaks away. Yeah, Zywu's so cleared it out now with a Shock's double peak. So there is a timing on this. It looks like Zywu is being kind of uh, summoned back to the other side. Certainly now that Misuta and Kyojin have gone down to Snappy, there's some impact again from the in-game leader. Yeah, it might be too late. She cried as she waved her wooden leg. You heard that one before? Is that, uh, some, I don't know. That's something my mum mom, mom says. I don't know. Too late, she cried as she waved her wooden leg. I don't know where that's from. Let's have a Google, shall we? The internet knows it all. Yeah, I had a really odd, vague childhood memory come through recently of like, um, I think I used to have plates and bowls from a child, a child, children's series. I think it was a book. You know, it had like a toad and a hedgehog. Okay. There was a, a rather um, hedonistic toad who lived in a manor. He was very rich. All right. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what it was called. Toad of Toad Hall, that was his name. Toad Wait. of Toad Hall. Wait. Oh, Zawa, you better run, mate. You want to hold on to this big green, let me tell you. Ah, it's an A.A. Milne thing, you Jiggy. Toad of Toad Hall, a 1908 novel, The Wind in the Willows. Uh, okay, bit of a classic. Yeah, why was I, why was I aware of that? I guess I'm, I'm actually... This is all crept old. in. Well, it's too late, she cried. She waved a wooden leg. I'm trying to find it. I'm behind a couple of pages. Does it just have, like, Miss Birchill as the, <laughs> uh, the original? It's, it just is, like, searching for the origin, right? So, I don't know, maybe it's just one of those things. Good openings from Snappy there. And if they want to be competitive here, Entz, of course, Vitality 13 is the big number. Three rounds separating them from closing out this series. And all the only evidence we've seen from Entz that they can post T rounds is that one right there. Round 20, can we see some simultaneous rounds out of the attack? 
Oh. Three two split of their resources now. It's quite a heavy Actually, rotation back me. towards A. Yeah, they've just sent Apex and Masuda over right here to bolster this A defense. So they're just going to push forward through bathroom. Shox is already forward through long. And once again, there's a bit of a timer on this because if Ents just accelerate towards B, they can just run into the site where it's only Kyojin ho holding over towards Jail right now. Oh, he's going to stick around. The fact he's still in that position, like you, 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 very cocky in there. Love and yeah, he will get. Sussed out in the end, turning the flash forces him to disadvantage. D her losing his jewel though. That's big from Misuta. Shox is quick on the flank here. Very quick. I wonder if he'll even be loud. They might have heard it. Oh, they've heard each other. Surely Hades has heard a step here or two. He's acknowledged it. Shox as well. That's the bomb carrier though. Hades, you can't lose the bomb. Oh, he needs to throw you till the stalemate. Ah, okay, bomb spotted. Shox is still on this flank, and this could be round defining. And on the monster tunnel, looking the wrong way, and Shox bides his time for the perfect. Oh no! Gets the first, oh. and another one comes in from Doto. Perhaps they can get that bomb down. They are so low. Apex, surely he can finish this off. 16 points of health between the two of them. First found, and it's just unloading the mag. He knows oh. how low Sphinx is. It's Apex to finish, and pulls them into 14th. Very close to finishing things, and it's not bells and whistles for the, all of them. Snappy's going to struggle to pull out everything he desires. Vitality, though, not necessarily flush for cash either. Ourself into a post plant scenario, but business end right here, right now. They opt not to extinguish, or Doto chooses to be ahead of it. Puts him into that one shot headshot radius for the M4. They gambled 4B here for a B hit, so it was just shocks on his lonesome over towards A, and there's a massive gap. If Dodo continues at this pace right here, he will be there before the rotation coming in, and this is very noisy from Apex and Zaiwu. He might even be calling the steps here. Dodo's going to be up close yeah, and personal. This is, huge. this is huge. If he can just pause, he might even catch some CTs regressing. He can pause right there. Don't give him anything on their early looks. They're going to want to answer some questions here, and Zaiwu does strafe into his crosshair. For a brief moment, the nade and the Molotov will force him out of position. That's great. Here, surely. He surely has to go wide. Oh. And he is Dota. Great use of util. Hades will connect as well. And it's only Apex. Dota. Oh, faffing around with his nade. Pulls Apex into a deeper line. But now swinging in is Sphinx. The rest should fall into place nicely. And Hades will be given a nice and easy one up the uh, connector. That's crazy. That, that's crazy that they opted for just the one-man A setup in a round like that and Doto's able to pip the gap. Like, think about how much space he took and quickly, right? He didn't extinguish, he just kept running, had a teammate do it. They didn't use a whole lot of utility to get there, was just able to be hot on the heels of shocks who re-rotated back around and then a huge gap. And you could see Zyra was like, well, I can try and take this fight, I'm at a disadvantage. If I push out long, I'm probably going to die to somebody wide. He could only stand and burn. So huge, Dodo with a round-winning push, and it probably and it got really uncomfortable for Dodo. You know, like he's spotted it. He knows there's an AWP posted up on his teammates on long. He has to be responsible for that flag. So a HE, a bullet tag, and a Molotov spread for the final thirty. He uses every tool in his arsenal to break them, and break them he has. Vitality on peanuts for our next round of play, round twenty-three. That's really going to extend play here because if your vitality at this point. It feels like it has to be a four spot. Now, if Ents are able to weather the storm of this, right, they get themselves up to nine, the next one has to be an eco or saved gun, so we're talking likely to be 10. And we know what happened towards the tail end of Mirage. Vitality started to get flustered. They were just kind of throwing bodies. They lost a four on two. No reason Ents can't make this more competitive than it already is. I like the flash long. It's gonna perhaps set D her up for success. It slowed them down. It's gonna be Masuta and Shocks. Holding their close lines. D is responsible for any aggressions early from the CTs. And I'm sure the conversation that Ents have had is to be ready for anything. 
You know there's a saved FAMAS, but what Vitality have equipped themselves with around that remains to be found out. Oh, no one's holding long, are they? Okay, Hades is. Best so weapon for the low job too, default. Yeah. Good weapon, yeah. Well, I think Snappy's seen enough. <laughs> Diaz tucked in. Sai, who's got the gamiest of the brain. Oh. Look at him clearing very wide. Takes down Diha, grabs himself an AK, and look how quick they are. They're hot, hot on their heels here. Yeah, very quick flank. Spinks, you better turn your ass around after you've thrown out your Yuta. That door is about to swing open. Spinks does deliver the one. Zaiwu, oh. though, exists. And that's enough for a double. Two on two. Oh, Shots no! Does get caught out by Hades Orp. It's a 1v1. 30 seconds of Snappy Plants B. Misuta a Deagle. He'll have weapons to retrieve. Snappy's got full util as well. So we can surely isolate this. Oh, what? Suta with the Scorcher. Snappy thinks he's got it down pat. Goes to give him the fight. One shot out of the Deagle. Ouch. And that's going to leave a huge mark. This was supposed to be the door into a big Ents comeback. Yeah, I think that's just absolutely been knocked on down right here. That was huge. And I don't even hate the play from Snappy, right? The fact that he's just planted. Yeah. If you're Masuda, you're thinking, okay, he's planted the bomb. He's going to play the post plant. He's Where's going he going to go? Yeah. yeah. How much tricky business is he going to do? I don't know if Masuda's awareness was there or he's just hit a reaction shot. Zyra oh. with the triple was fantastic. I thought Hades after he gets this kill on shock. Like, oh my lord. What a back and forth round that one was. Yeah, and then Masuta does one better. Like, he's looking one way, he's looking the next. Jeez. Fantastic. <laughs> Hot stuff there. Whoo -wee. That's that new generation boy. Let's get it into our 24th. Could very well oh. be the last of the series. Where did their health go? Nuked. Stack nades. This time, <laughs> Apex gobbles them up. That's three nades. That's his recommended daily allowance. Yeah, I don't think he'll be taking any more of those today. He was real mad on the cam just there. And after a <laughs> crazy round for them just to win, what a horrible way to kick off the next. They just get the guns back in their hands here. But was I was still alive and so is Masuda. If Snappy gets them both here, Oh, a nice find from Masuta. Successfully on the smoke trick. Dodo's heard all this. He knows there was two players. He knows that they've picked up a couple guns. He can relay that information. They need to find Zyro when they can't. Diha's down. Three on three. This could be it. Look where the bomb is, though. They have to hit, like, they, they, they couldn't accelerate, right? Even if they wanted to right there, they couldn't accelerate because let's say Dodo drops back to get to the bomb. He gets caught off in the middle of all this. They're actually gathering over towards the B bomb site. And... Oh, it's the anime weeb team of Vitality to close things out. Suta, Kyojin, yeah, I'll give you that one. And Kyojin already on to Zoto. And the frags just keep coming. Only one man now stands between Vitality and their first successful series of Pro League. Spinks. 79 points have health and a dream. They are a little battered, a little bruised. And he's wide, he's scraping into the first and running out of bullets and health. Eric 